Here we go again. Manchester United have told Atletico Madrid they must pay 51.3 millions of pounds if they want to sign Mason Greenwood, according to Mundo Deportivo. Greenwood is currently on loan at Getafe and has scored eight goals in 27 games in all competitions for the Spanish side. The 22-year-old's time at United was ended after the club confirmed it would be best for him to continue his career away from Old Trafford last summer. However, Sir Jim Ratcliffe has since revealed his team are yet to make a decision on Greenwood. Atletico have been regularly linked with a move for the United Loanee, though their claim to have been put off by the figure they'll reportedly have to pay to sign him. Meanwhile, Ineos changes could give Ten Hag a decision to make over United future. The Dutchman had a strong working relationship with Ajax sporting director Mark Overmars, but in Amsterdam and Manchester, he has had the final say on transfers. He has been the most powerful person at both of those clubs. That is something that Ineos might be looking to change. They already have a new chief executive with a greater focus on football in Omar Barada, while Dan Ashworth will run the operation as sporting director. Further hires around recruitment are expected before the summer. It is going to lead to significant changes in the structure of the organization and the roles of staff already there. Eric Ten Hag could become a head coach rather than a manager with his focus on coaching and improving the players he is given. He would maintain a say in recruitment, but it might not be quite as powerful as it has been over the last couple of years. On the other side, United's chances of signing Amrabat permanently have already vanished. According to a report by Italian news outlet Calcio Mercato, the prospect of United signing Sofian Amrabat on a permanent deal this summer has already vanished. United, who signed the Moroccan on loan from Fiorentina back in September, have the option to sign him on a permanent basis, 20 million, plus a further 5 millions of euros in add-ons. The Reds also spent 10 millions of euros on a loan fee. However, he has failed to make his mark at Old Trafford, making 22 appearances in the process. He was left out of the starting lineup against Liverpool just over a week ago, despite Casemiro missing out through injury again and again. United make very important offer for Milan youngster. According to a report by Calcio Mercado, United have made a very important offer to try and sign AC Milan wonder kid Francesco Camarda. The 16-year-old, who has already made two appearances for Milan's first team, has been linked with a move to Old Trafford on a handful of occasions in recent weeks. However, due to post-Brexit rules, Camarda would not be able to join United until his 18 years old. He only turned 16 earlier this month. Meanwhile, Ratcliffe is doing what the Glazers wouldn't at United, and Neville will be delighted. Few people have banged the drum more about the need for changes at United than Gary Neville. The former captain has often called the Glazers out for their failings, not least those off the pitch. After United's 4-0 defeat to Brentford in August 2022, Neville launched a passionate rant live on Sky Sports detailing a whole host of changes that needed to be made. Following the arrival of Sir Jim Ratcliffe in M16, some of those changes are already been worked on. Elsewhere, Kabi Manu is set to make his full England debut in tonight's friendly against Belgium at Wembley. Manu, 18, attained his first England cap when he came on in the second half of the 1-0 defeat to Brazil on Saturday, and it is understood he is slated to start this evening. England's captain for the night, Declan Rice, will partner May New amid uncertainty over the central midfield spot in manager Gareth Southgate's strongest 11. Conor Gallagher struggled to convince alongside Rice against Brazil. Manchester United midfielder, May New made his career bow 14 months ago, and his full Premier League debut came in the 3-0 victory at Everton in November. Maynou's start to the season was delayed by a four-month absence with an ankle injury, but he has lined up in 17 of United's past 22 matches and is firmly established in manager Eric Ten Hag's team. Southgate initially overlooked Maynou for inclusion in his squad for this month's matches, but Maynou was promoted from the under-21s early last week. Maynou played three times for England under-19s in November, and has never appeared for the U21s. Definitely Kabi has a chance, Southgate said on Monday. He seems very calm. You can see he is taking everything in. Talking to him, tactically, he seems able to take all those concepts on. 
A lot of young players now, with their academy education, are able to do that. You can see his comfort with the ball and receiving in tight areas. There are a lot of steps being taken in a very short period of time, but you saw in the brief cameo the other day some of the qualities he has. It is a beautiful, innocent moment when he is just in the flow and lapping up the opportunities as they come, again and again. Sports presenter Jeff Stelling has backed Everton defender Jared Branthwaite to snub a transfer to Man City in favor of joining Manchester United. Branthwaite, 21, has been heavily linked with a move to United as Eric Ten Hag plans to strengthen his defense in the summer, especially with there being doubts over the future of most of the defenders currently at the club. Raphael Varane and Johnny Evans will both be out of contract soon, while it's possible that one if not two of Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof could leave in search of regular football. In turn, United have been linked to multiple defenders, but it seems like Branthwaite is at the top of the wish list after his impressive breakthrough season at Goodison Park. A recent report suggested that United will face competition from rivals Man City for Branthwaite's signature with Pep Guardiola believed to be closely monitoring developments concerning the young centre-back. World-renowned sports presenter Jeff Stelling told TalkSport that he thinks Branthwaite is more likely to opt for United over City. It's going to happen, isn't it? Because Everton need the money and their biggest asset, their most sellable asset, is 21-year-old Jared Branthwaite, Stelling said, as quoted by the Metro. He's made 31 appearances for Everton this season, in the England squad, expect him to play against Belgium, and I think he'll find himself at Old Trafford. Never mind Manchester City, it will be Old Trafford I would imagine, because, with the likes of Lindelof, Varane and Maguire all aging players, they need to bring in some youth. I'm thinking 45 million something like that for Branthwaite would do the job. Most of the defenders linked with United are under the age of 25 so there will clearly be an attempt to lower the squad's average age when the season ends. Let us know in the comments section if you think Branthwaite is the right fit for United. Meanwhile, who will decide Eric Ten, Hag's Man United future, with new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe not wanting to intervene? Omar Barada has reportedly been given the responsibility of having the final say on Eric Ten Hag's future at Manchester United. Barada is due to take on the role as United's new chief executive this summer, as he is currently on gardening leave after his defection from Manchester City was confirmed in January. He has been brought in by Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos after they acquired 25% of the Red Devils back in December. One of the biggest decisions they will have to make over the coming months is whether to keep Ten Hag or part ways with him after a poor season for the Red Devils. As reported by the Manchester Evening News, Men, Sir Jim Ratcliffe will task Barada with being the de facto kingmaker on any decision taken over Ten Hag's future, including who would replace him. It comes as United co-owner Ratcliffe does not want to intervene and determine Ten Hag's fate. He trusts the footballing expertise of Barada, who was Man City's chief football operating officer, until his move to United was confirmed. Another man who could have been under consideration is Ineos sporting director Sir Dave Brailsford. Though Brailsford is conducting a thorough audit on United and sits on the football board, the men insist he will not decide Ten Hag's position. The Red Devils are also looking to make Dan Ashworth their new sporting director. Ashworth was placed on gardening leave by Newcastle after revealing to the club's hierarchy that he wanted to join the Red Devils. He has close links with England boss Gareth Southgate, who has recently been linked with the Manchester United job. Other names linked as potential replacements for Ten Hag include Roberto De Zerbi and Graham Potter.